Thank you, Mr. President. I'm sure the lecture is just fine. It's just good. Yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we decided we weren't going to have a humorous contest today, I said, how are we ever going to fill an hour? Well, I said, I can do that easy. <laughs> so, so I thought that, especially with a lot of new people, I'd probably like to get an idea of what the contest thing is all about. So for one of the rare times, I'm actually going to move the fourth wall out of the way here. Uh, twice a year, we have club contests, and they go on up to other levels. In the spring, we have the dad, granddaddy of them all, which is the International Speech Contest. And that one goes all the way to international levels. And actually, just last week in Calgary, they had the international finals. And also, during the spring, we have the Table Topics Contest. Our own Angie Anderson came in second in the contest. Everybody I've talked to thought she should have won, but she, including people at the district. Wow. But anyway, we, we know she's good. Job. Now, that's in the spring. And to be in the international contest, which can be any kind of a speech, it doesn't have to be serious or humorous, it can be a combination, it can be motivation or anything, you need to have completed six manual speeches in order to compete. That's in the spring. Now in the fall, a little bit different. We have the humorous speech contest, which we were going to have today, and we have the evaluation contest. And for both of these contests, neither of these contests do you need to have any speeches completed or anything else. If you paid your dues, if you are what they call a member in good standing, meaning you paid your dues, and the club in good standing means the club has said, submitted its dues to Toastmasters International, then you are eligible to compete. So Max is just joining two weeks ago could compete in either of these contests. In fact, he's such a funny guy, I'm hoping now in a couple more weeks to maybe he'll, he'll change his mind and, and be a part of it. But anybody, any of you, can compete in the Humorous Contest, which we will now have either next week or the week after, depending on what President Fred works out today with you all. We also have the Evaluation Contest, and this is a, going to be an interesting contest because that will be the focus of our meeting today, where we invite person from a different club to come in and speak. And that person is in the room, and we deliberately did not introduce him. So those of you who don't know who he is, and anything about him, you'll find out during the course of the contest. Now, very much like the table topics contest in the spring, we don't want the contestants to hear what the person before said, because it would give them an unfair advantage. So we're actually going to kick the contestants out of the room after the test of speech, and they will have five minutes to prepare. I'm doing the chief judge kind of things right now. But they'll have five minutes to prepare their evaluations, and they'll come in one at a time at, to evaluate the test speaker. And once they're in the room, they get to stay. They don't have to, to, to go back out of the room. So that's kind of the way it works at the, at the club level. Now, because it's at the club level, we don't go through all the iterations of following the script. The script is like. 30 pages long, and Emily printed most of it out. She said, do I have to say this? Do I have to say this? And most of it she doesn't have to say. And I'm going to give you what you need to know here in the next couple of minutes. And that is that whoever wins these contests today goes on to the area contest, which happens to be this year on September 13th, Saturday afternoon, September 13th, 1 o'clock in the afternoon at the Ag Center, the Ag uh, Conference Center on Abbott Street in Salinas. South, it's South Abbott Street. Or it's on your way toward 101, heading south toward Soledad. It's a, it's a very nice facility to have these contests on. You've been there before for contests. And it's about, oh, probably a half hour from here, I suppose, to, to get to it. It's a com combined area contest with areas A1 and A2. Area A1 basically are all the clubs on the Monterey Peninsula. There are six clubs. Area A2 are mainly the Salinas clubs and an outlier or two. So because the clubs, some of the clubs have been relatively small, and the attendance has been relatively low. Over the last several years, we simply combined the two area contests into one. They're, they're actually, both area contests take place at the same time, and they're identified separately, but we do it at the same meeting. So that make, makes for a great crowd and a lot of fun, and it's a great opportunity to meet the other people in, in Toastmasters and the other clubs. Now, whoever wins that contest, on September 13th, and like Angie did when she was Table Topics in last year, Chance is Humorous, won the area contest. And Robin Walker won the evaluation contest at the area. Now Robin did not go on to the division because he would rather, he actually went to a football game in Berkeley instead. <laughs> <laughs> and we never let him forget that. 
but the person who came in second went to the division, won the division, and won the district. And that was Christian Kump of, Kump of Bayview. So, and Robin beat him at the area, so you get an idea how good Robin was at the area. Anyway, that's sometime in October. I don't think we have a date yet. Are you hear anything? Clary's still trying to worry about the area contest. So, sometime on a Saturday in October, often it's in the Aptos area of Watsonville, uh, we have the division contest, and that includes all the clubs in all of Santa Cruz, Monterey County, San Benito County, all the way from you know, King City to, to, to Gilroy. So that's about 22 clubs. Now, whoever wins that contest in October, as Chance did again last year, and Chance will be the Toastmaster at the division contest in October, as last year's winner, assuming you can make the date. And, uh, <laughs> then you go on to the district. The district contest is 200 clubs from San Francisco to King City. We're just one of those clubs. And this year it's going to be at the Biltmore Hotel in Santa Clara by Great America, where often we have contests at the district level. It's going to be on Saturday, November 15th. And I think the table of the evaluation contest might be the night before on Friday evening the 14th. I don't know that that's been sorted out yet. But the humorous speech contest will be Saturday afternoon, the 15th of November, Saturday the 15th. And that's worth going to. So that's the progression. Uh, how you go. Now, in the fall, that's as far as it goes. If you won the district, you're the champ, and th that's it. You don't have to try again next year. In the spring, the international contest goes on two more levels. First to the region. Right now, the region, our region is region two, and that includes all of basically the southern two-thirds of California, southern Nevada, northern Mexico, and Hawaii. There are eight districts making up region two. And this year, where was the regional you remember where the regional was this year? San, San Diego? Diego yeah, I think San Diego. Ontario or somewhere. Anyway, it was down south. Next year it will be in San Francisco. So we want to try to plan on making that. I think it's June 12th and 13th. And then after that, the contest goes to the international level, which last year, this year was in Calgary. I forget where it is next year, but in two years it's going to be in Sydney, Australia. I'm going to try to go with that. So, Madam uh, Contest Chair, this is how the system works.